Well, it's the 67th Eurovision Song Contest and the 40th year broadcasting on SBS and Miff and I are currently sharing a microphone because one's not working. Hopefully we're coming through to you and it is absolutely fabulous here at the venue in the wonderful city of Liverpool. And yes, you could have brushed your teeth, Miff. I just had a coffee, sorry. <laughs> Bad, like, like We're so close, we look like we're kissing. Let the Eurovision Song Contest and here we go with Norway and Alessandra. Her song and choreography is designed to show the powerful face of the queen that is not perfect, which is actually how I describe myself on a Sunday morning. She's actually released the song in five different languages. So impressive. I struggle with one. They were inspired by 2021 winners Monoskin to compete in Eurovision because they saw rock is not dead. Monoskin just really inspired me to drink champagne and be more hot. <laughs> Well, they're getting hot. They've got their clothes off. Look at them. Woo. Hello. They lost their luggage on the way here too, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they headed off to Primark, which is like a department store here to oh, they've got set it all. themselves up with some new threads. Let's see what they're wearing. That was Latvia. Apologies for the technical difficulties, early risers. We'll get them sorted. Don't worry. I've got an engineer between my legs right now, and I don't totally hate it. <laughs> See you soon. Welcome back, Australia. We think we might have sorted out difficulties, and here's Portugal and Mimi Cat. Now, her title translates to Oh Heart, and the track follows Mimi Cat being swept up in love and despair as she waits for her lover, much like I felt waiting for my Uber Eats last night. <laughs> that is Ireland's Wild Youth. Thank you so much. Clearly someone decided what side to dress on this morning <laughs> as he popped on his gold logie sipped. Yes, 50% off at Thirsty Camel. <laughs> now here's Croatia and this is absolutely bonkers in the most delightful way. It is. They're like the village people on crack. Yes. Well, they did say they teleported That's to Eurovision right. and you did just hear me correctly. <laughs> Strap in. This is huge. Let three from Croatia. How did you travel here? Uh, we have uh, teleportation with our golden tractor. Oh. <laughs> they taught us how to say the name of that song. Our mantra, which is shtu, like shtu. Shtu. No, shtu. 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 Mama, shtu. Reminiscent of my dad and his mates when he get on the grog. <laughs> Now here comes Switzerland and Remo. And he used to work in a retail, uh, at a sports store. So don't be surprised if he jumps off the stage and measures up a fan for a new sneaker. <laughs> Maybe you could get one of those cricket boxes and pass it over to Ireland. <laughs> I'll be doing that <laughs> later. Hold over there. He looks like someone you'd find holding a healing circle in a yurt <laughs> at Rainbow Serpent Festival. Absolutely. And I'd love it. You would love it. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to try my best to uh, control myself, Australia, but 2012 winner Lorene is about to hit the stage, one of the biggest stars Eurovision have ever produced. Euphoria still gets played in clubs and truly my house daily. I'm such a fan of the I Cat know, you, sh you should see him. He's, he's, all, he's all, like, shrugged up and tight with nerves here, Joel yeah. Creasy in the booth. But she won in 2012, as he said, with Euphoria, which is just a classic Eurovision song. And it's a real risky move to come back and try and win again, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, she's the red-hot favourite at the moment. She's got some competition from Finland who... You'll see later, but her staging is sensational, which features something that people are calling the Panini Press, which I initially misheard and was rather shocked. Jaffle. It's like a jaffle. Something else. Yeah. I'll tell you off there. <laughs> Here's Laureen in Sweden. Dead, done, deceased. Incredible. Time for Czechia and Vesna. And this track features four languages, English, Czech, Ukrainian and Bulgarian. The reason? They obviously wanted to celebrate the sisterhood between Czechia and Ukraine and they want to help support their sisters across the globe. And this is a wonderful, wonderful song. Yeah, they dominated their national selection, gaining double the points for the runner-up. And I'd just like to give a shout-out to my sisters watching this morning. No, Holly, you're not getting a neutral bullet back. Here's Czechia. <laughs> now, here's the Netherlands. It's uh, Mia and Dion. Mia was born in Amsterdam to a Dutch father and Russian mother, but she's previously lived in Melbourne and... She joked to me that she struggled to make friends because Melburnians are rude. And as a current Melburnian myself, I took that 
as a huge compliment and then threw an <laughs> oat flat white in her face. <laughs> Just like Kenny and Dolly, oh, no. islands in the stream, isn't it? They ran out of sequins for, for poor Mia's pants. Oh, yeah, of course. She's just, just wearing a standard slack. Oh, no. <laughs> now, here comes Finland. Are Perhaps you ready, Australia? He is wearing a very notable outfit that has already become iconic in the online Eurovision fandom. It's, you know, very much when your sleeves say Met Gala, but yeah. your chest says Vicks Vapor Up. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's Pasha Pafeni. I almost impaled myself on one of those horns backstage, and not in the fun way. Your oh. girl, Loreen. I mean, she's a Eurovision hero. Can she do it? Burning daylight. I interviewed them. They were a bit kissy-kissy backstage. Were they? I know. I mean, listen to the crowd if you can. Finland. Oh, I feel like this is our winner. Karia, cha cha cha. Oh, babe, the week is still too young. I know, but I, yeah, I feel like I can call it. Ugg boots became the must have fashion item following a trend established down under. Thanks, Australia, for that. And over in Latvia. You're welcome, Graham. We'll see you at the grand final. I sprinted up to the Ukrainian commentary box, which was not easy in these hills, but I'm glad I did because look who's here. It's the lovely Timur Miroshnichenko. I mean, You're actually what right a next moment door to that now. was. For me, it's like a school Just of life. It taught me how to, to feel, to... Loving Finland's outfit. Tonight. <laughs> Could no, no, stop traffic. He lost it. He fell world. out of his car. So, really? Someone contacted him, contacted him on social media and... Said, found I found it. your shoulder pads. <laughs> hey, just quietly, Australia, Finland is staying in our hotel. So we see... Uh, Curry are having breakfast every morning. Hannah for UK entry next year, I say. Five, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and the U. This is Lord of the Lost with blood and glitter. They wouldn't be lost in Fitzroy, would they? Be a bit cold though with those pants. One leg short. You wouldn't want an accident in those pants. Something fell loose, would you? No. Blood and glitter really sums up my Mardi Gras this year. <laughs> I think his outfit doesn't do him his, his heat justice. That outfit's a little business on the bottom party on the top, isn't it? It's, it's sort of a mullet. I just heard the word top. The first country going through to the final is Croatia! Yes! Oh, I'm so thrilled. And I think this is where the televote really comes into play, be the jury vote. Yeah. Often the kooky acts don't make it through to the grand final That's because right. the juries really stifle them. So I'm stoked we're going to see Croatia again. And I'm going to see their undies uh, again. Moldova! Moldova! Oh, yes! there you go. Well done, guys. It's a catchy song. It's a really catchy song. Switzerland! Croatia! There we go. That very emotional song from Switzerland has got through. And he was such a nice guy when I spoke to him backstage. I really bailed him up as he was on the way to the loo with the camera crew. <laughs> the poor guy. <laughs> it's probably busting. Finland! Well, no surprises there. No. Cha, oh, cha, cha. Oh, don't lose your top, though, mate. You need that for the final. I know. Czechia! Czechia, yes! Portugal! Portugal are through! Of Portugal course. are through. Mimi Cat. I'm just holding my breath for Sweden and how it is. must feel for Lorraine right now. Oh, she's going through, surely. Yeah, they're teasing us. Yeah, they're just hanging out. Sweden! Yes, Queen, yes. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm sorry. Are you OK? Oh, I just absolutely adore her. I know you do. And it's just the true Swedish style, just beautifully put together, mm. staging, lighting. It's just mwah, what, what we expect from Sweden. Do you want to put some bats on? I'm hoping for the Netherlands because they'll be such sweeties. Oh, and of course, Alessandra from Norway. Serbia! Oh, wow. <laughs> Luke Black has come through. It is a great song and a real grower. A sleeper hit, you might say. Ooh, she oh, looks like she's she going to spew. Ill. Norway! There you have it. Open the show so strong and has been so strong all through her rehearsals we've seen for the last week or so. A few surprises there. Yeah. 
God, if my sister's rocked up to my house in matching uniforms, I think they're about to kill me. And thank you, early risers, for joining us. And look, it has been bedlam in here with a few issues. We apologise. Yeah. If you were stressed, don't worry. We were more. Have a great day, Australia. Take the day off. Love you. Love you, my family. I'm off to have a word with the techs. <laughs>